Hello, and welcome to Unbox a Palooza, where I unbox the first of three Centipede Press titles. I'm unboxing them in the order received. So up first, my friends, we have Visiting Maze and Other Quandries by Michael Sisko. And like, oh, I was going to say, like most of my unboxings with Centipede Press, I like to see if any reused material uh, was used to the packing slip. It was not. This is a very thin book. Uh, you know, decent sized box, because Jared likes to reuse boxes, but a very light box. Very kind of small trim size to go with uh, the smaller trim size for a lot of Centipede's titles. Like the Wendell titles. Uh, there we go, we have a little insert here, which is like the frontispiece for Burn Witch Burn. Uh, which is also a similar small size like that. I love these little inserts that you might get with it. This as I said, is Visiting Maze and Other Quandaries by Michael Sisko. Number 68 uh, was limited to 300 copies, and it sold out almost immediately. I, I will admit, uh, you know, common theme here is that I haven't read this title yet. I, have, I don't think I've read any Michael Sisko yet. Now, uh, this is not the first Michael Sisko that Centipede Press has published. Oh, no. This is the sixth title, technically, that Michael, that, of Michael Sisko's that they published. Uh, ten years ago, in 2013, they published a, uh, they being Jared, it's a one-man operation, he published a five-novel set in a slipcase of Michael Sisko novels. I believe it was five. Maybe it was six. Maybe this is the seventh. I, uh, I'm pretty sure it was five. Uh, so, ten years later, he's getting a short story collection here featuring the artist of Harry O. Morris. So, oh, cloth's got some spots on it before I even touched it. So, dust jacket artwork by Harry O. Morris, who also signed this edition. Uh, as I said, I have not read any Michael Sisko, but he falls within the horror genre, so I am all for it. Nice, vibrant black cloth. Uh, very similar to the black cloth used on most semi oh my God, centipede press titles. You have a nice little... Uh, design to the inside end papers. I don't know why I specified inside end papers as if there were outside end papers. Um, it's actually almost, it almost reminds me of the end papers on like kind of the moray end papers that Easton Press uses, although this is black, whereas theirs are not. Visiting Maze and Other Quandaries. Cover and title page artwork by Harry O. Morris. Uh, so limited to 300 copies, pretty low limitation. I mean, normally you might get like 500. So uh, when I saw it was 300, I said I need to dive right on it. Very loose back cover. I mean, the first one you got to kind of pull open. The back one's just like, woo, jumping open there. Uh, I don't believe there's going to be any interior illustrations. It's just going to be your regular old decent margin size. Very nice. I like short story collections. I know some people aren't huge fans of short story collections. Uh, I think it's a nice little way of getting a taste of the author without diving into the novel format. Uh, especially uh, the short story collection that I read last year by Centipede Press, which was uh, The Senile Pagodas by Reese Hughes, which is one of the best short story collections I've read in some time. Uh, that one was very unique in that Reese Hughes took on a different approach, different author. He embodied a different author with uh, every single story. I can't say that... Cisco does the same thing, but that would be fine. You know, he doesn't have to do that. That's Reese Hughes' thing. You don't have to follow in his footsteps. Now, this is, like I said, uh, oh, so a lot of these, some of these are previously published. There's the story sources. Uh, okay. The Figman was previously uh, in the Bestiary, the Centipede Press did. And they got some uh, various ones. So we got some Undertow, Weird World Anthology. Very nice. A couple that are brand new, including Rum Neat and All Aftermath. And then we have the signature page itself, of which this is number 68 to match several of my other Centipede Press titles. You have Michael Sisko's signature with a nice little stamp there. And Harry O. Morris's very beautiful, very artful signature there. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is sold out. This one sold out almost immediately. It was pretty darn quick. Uh, so if you're not already subscribed to Centipede Press's newsletter, I highly recommend subscribing to that. 
Uh, they usually get at least a one week notice before the titles go on sale. Uh, there was somebody on the Facebook group who was uh, upset that they didn't see a link to purchase this. So if you're watching this uh, and you are not, have not purchased a Centipede Press title, he gives you at least a one week notice when a book comes out. Uh, when the newsletter for that week comes out, he might say a title is shipping. Usually includes an uh, image of the uh, cover. That will be a link to get in to buy the book. Uh, this one uh, one buyer uh, didn't realize it was a link. So yes, uh, if you see you know the email it says, "Hey, uh, visiting maze is now shipping." That does not mean you've missed out. That means you can usually click on the image of the book to purchase a copy. Uh, there, like I said, this title is all sold out, but there are other Centipede Press titles still available, including the one that I'm unboxing tomorrow, which is an art book. So please come back around tomorrow to watch that. Please consider liking and subscribing. Check out Centipede Press. They are one of the best small press publishers out there, uh, particularly for the horror genre, although he does branch into other genres as well. Uh, but thank you for watching. Please come back tomorrow to watch another unboxing, and we'll see you around next time.